Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm decorating my dining room and kitchen for summer. I'm going to be using a red, white, and blue patriotic um, theme. And so to get started, I'm just going through this bag of flowers and greenery that I've had in my basement. And these are flowers that we used in our wedding in 2020. We had an outdoor wedding in the end of August. So we had these dusty blue, <coughs> blue and white and navy flowers. This is just some of them. I'm not sure where the others are to be honest because like I said, these have been in my basement for a couple of years. And so I decided that this would be the perfect use for these flowers. I knew that I kept them for some reason. I am also going to be mixing in a couple of new items that I picked up this year like this wreath from the Target Dollar Spot for $5. I also have a couple of other Target Dollar Spots from years gone by like this star. These red flowers I've had on my porch for a while. I've used them through the fall and for Christmas and the red color is going to tie in well. This banner came from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago and this little sign as well back when target dollar spot I had things for a dollar on theirs um this little blue truck was from hobby lobby it is from um easter and it was on clearance so i grabbed that because the blue color the stars from the dollar spot you know, a couple years ago these flowers i picked up at a dollar general haul if you watched my hauls you may have seen those and then this pack of flags has been in a bag from who knows when this is a dollar tree craft that i made some years ago and it's using all dollar tree um supplies i just took a wire and kind of use some pipe cleaners to hold in the foam wreath in the middle of that. I stuck all the flowers into the foam and then used some of their red, white, and blue craft mesh and then just tied that around the outside and attached one of their um, burlap patriotic bows to that and that'll go on my front door so it's going to sit here for now these beads are from my christmas decorations i've had those for like all of my life i think just um got a couple of towels here and a runner i use this runner um during christmas uh <laughs> valentine's day and now it's going to uh, serve its purpose for memorial day and fourth of july and i'm just gonna lay that down on top of this jute runner that i have on this um buffet or dresser all year long i have some of these white stems i'm going to bend them and get them put into this jar i have my star i'm just gonna lean there and get these red and blue flowers um, bent and put into this little amber jar that sits on this dresser all the time as well and I just change out the colors of the flowers or the twigs or whatever depending on the season and then I'm just going to use these little glass dishes for height and to play around with getting this uh, tiered stand decorated. So I have a couple different tiered stands that I use and lately I've just been only using the black one because it's pretty versatile and I don't feel like changing it out all the time. So I also like how it is open at the top. There's no middle, um, like handle or anything on it so i just put this little blue truck in there i'm having a hard time with the sign as you can see so the flowers are going to give it stability this is not a video on how to do things perfectly um i know there's a lot of other youtubers that do these tiered stand uh decor videos and they make it look so easy and every time I decorate this um, stand I'm always like how do they do that maybe it's the magic of editing I don't know but it doesn't always work out like that for me I do have a hard time decorating these stands I'm gonna be honest and so I just looped all of these stars around on this um, stand just kind of whatever way I've never put batteries in this or turned the lights on so that was fun for me this time and um, I'm just gonna put these green twigs in the back because I had a lot of open space I don't have a lot of decor to use and I was not going to go out and buy a bunch of items and uh, so anyway just to fill in those gaps I threw in some of this greenery
still see my son Dawson. Obviously, we didn't know that the camera was going, but he helped me hang up those red beads. And then I just put the banner up there as well. Just going to keep it simple on the top of the um, windows and window uh, picture frame that I have up. Usually, I hang up wreaths or what have you up there, but I just went for a really simplistic look. And our change jar got a little flag in it. And that is it for that section. And I'm gonna move on to my table and get a centerpiece made up. So this is just real life. I think these are from Mother's Day and I just had thrown those under there just for safekeeping until I could get them put away. And so they're gonna stay right there for the time being. And um, I'm just using this piece of craft foam that I had in my craft supplies. And I'm leaving the plastic on it because I do not like how it can crumble and make a mess and I'm just going to poke my flags into it and then these um, three red hydrangea picks that I have I'm just gonna poke those right down in there across the top and then I will just put the blue um, hydrangeas along the edges and weave those white flowers in and out as best as I can this decoration style is going to last me up until July 4th and then I will probably just remove the flags and then at the end of the summer I will switch out all of the red and put out my sunflowers and um, those tones that will also go really well with this blue color. This is one way that I keep it really simple and I don't have to do a whole major overhaul because let's face it, I just don't have the time or the energy for that. Flower arrangements may not be your thing, they're not mine either, but it's basically just throwing a bunch of flowers in a basket and calling it good. I am doing a very realistic decorate with me. I am not going to do the whole house. There will be no pillow covers and I won't be decorating every room in the house. This is just a couple of touches just to stay in the theme, but also make it easy and keep it simple without spending a whole lot of money. I've had this red and white bucket with the stars on it for I don't know how long and I use it during Christmas. I will plop a little Christmas tree down inside of it or whatever. So this time I have my um, rolling pins and I'm going to use these long stemmed navy blue flowers just to give it that red, white, and blue look. This is going to sit on top of my refrigerator which is a space that is not very attractive but um, even though it's a um, construction area in my kitchen I still wanted to give it a little bit of a decor 
just very quickly giving you a glimpse of the top of my fridge it is a work in progress or just a work there's no progress happening right now but someday it will be finished and then over here I had just put these blue flowers on top of my red scale just thinking eh, maybe I don't know they were just kind of left over but and I didn't know what I was doing with them but it's very cluttered and I will be changing that out but first I'm going to remove the Easter pot holders and towel and I'm going to change it out with a very wrinkled stars and stripes um, set of towels so I could iron these if I was that kind of person which I am not so they're going up as is and maybe with some steam and some uh, moisture they may uh, the wrinkles might fall out who knows I'm not gonna worry about it too much I couldn't find my red white and blue um, pot holder so I just hung up the pizza for a minute but I did eventually find it in a drawer and I stuck it up there with that and removed those blue flowers and moved them over here along with the wreath and these two red mugs I picked up at the Dollar Tree so two dollars to change out this little section right here which I commonly do and I just picked up a couple other things while I was at Dollar Tree of course And then that day we just got our summer cooking starting started and grilled up some brats and some hot dogs and that was our dinner that day and kind of kicking off that Memorial Day weekend and so here is um, my plate that night I just had some of those uh, jalapeno pino cheddar brats or grillers and some macaroni salad that we picked up from Walmart and some pickles For a quick summertime dessert, I just whipped up a strawberry and pound cake, um, ice cream dessert. I'm just going to slice up all these strawberries. I put a few aside for Cameron because he does not like any mushy food at all. I added about three tablespoons of sugar to these strawberries and gave them a good mash. And then we just sliced up our Sara Lee pound cake into slices. And then when we were ready for dessert, we just layered on a few little scoops of ice cream, vanilla ice cream, in the middle of our cake. And then topped it with those strawberries and whipped cream. And because I served this on a blue bowl, I thought how fitting it was that it was Memorial Weekend. And it ended up being a red, white, and blue dessert. Now, if I had planned that, how clever, but I didn't. It just happened. to a cookout and ended our day with food and our family and I didn't remember to get a picture of my food and that happens sometimes when you're having a good time I hope that you enjoyed this kickstart to summer and that you will consider hitting the subscribe button so you can see more of my future videos bye for now